Hi everyone, it's Rollin with Rollin's Amazing Photography and today I want to talk about why I think that 2022 is going to be the biggest year for Nikon ever. So if anyone follows Nikon News, there has been a lot of amazing press and a lot of exciting announcements as well as rumors that have been going on about Nikon in the past four months. With that being said, in today's video, I want to talk about some of those announcements and some of those rumors and some of my own predictions to sum up how I believe um, that this year is going to be the biggest the biggest year ever for Nikon. It's going to be huge and I think it might even be their most profitable year ever. So of course I have to start off this video with the Nikon Z9. I pre-ordered the Z9 back from Adorama back on October 31st of last year but unfortunately I am not a Nikon professional service member so I have still not had the opportunity to personally have my, can my hands on the camera even despite me offering Adorama a sponsorship opportunity. I guess that's their loss anyways, because, yeah, I don't know, it's probably my loss actually. Although I have not had my hands on the camera, that has not stopped me from being able to do extensive research on the camera and watching a lot, and I mean a lot, of reviews on the Nikon Z9. Very few photographers can find anything negative to say about the Z9, and I'm a firm believer that it is the best Nikon camera that's ever been created to date. I mean, come on, if Jared Poland can't find something negative about it, it's pretty good if you ask me. The Z9 has top-of-the-line mirrorless capabilities, including 20 frames per second up to 120 frames per second, high-quality EVF, outstanding autofocus with no blackouts, silent shooting, and much, much more. I cannot wait to have my hands on the camera and provide you all with entertainment along with extensive um, testing and reviews and tests um, that I'm going to be providing you all with to find out if it is really worth all of the hype that's been going around for the camera. I think it's going to be, but I'm still going to find out when I get my hands on it. Um, so that's not the only thing that Nikon has going on at the moment that's exciting. I'm sure a lot of you all are aware um, of the press that a brand new S-series lens for the Nikon Z system has been getting over the past few days. If you're not, the lens that I am talking about is the Nikkor Z 400mm f2.8 teleconverter lens. Nikon really put a teleconverter into a 400mm lens and I was shocked to say the least. The lens is a 400mm at f2.8 and when activating the 1.4 teleconverter it becomes a 560mm lens and I believe it becomes an f4 lens at that point but I'm not 100% on that. Now, as much as I would love to have that lens on my hands, it probably isn't going to happen because it comes at a price point of $15,000 roughly after taxes. Of course, I think that there is a huge market for this lens. Um, a lot of professional Nikon shooters that um, do sports, wildlife, um, and a lot of other action photography are going to be um, investing in this lens to go with their Z9. They're going to pre-order it, and I think when they get their hands on it, they're going to absolutely love it. I reached out to Nikon to see if I could perform some tests on this new lens, but I, I still haven't got a response from them either, just like Adorama, but I um, guess it's still their loss. The next exciting item on the list for 2022 is the 800mm f6.3 lens that Nikon has announced, but it is not yet available for pre-order and there hasn't been any reviews out on the lens just quite yet either, unfortunately. However, as a lover of wildlife and bird photography, I mean I cannot wait to see this lens hit the market. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess that this lens is going to come in at around $20,000 to $25,000. Yeah, I'm guessing that it is probably going to be pretty pricey, but I would love to see Nikon throw a curveball and price it around the same amount as the 400mm teleconverter lens. Um, it doesn't have as low of an f-stop as the 400mm lens, and it's not an f4 lens, so honestly, maybe they could price it a little bit cheaper. I don't know what the price is going to be at, but if I had to guess, I would say it's probably going to be around $20,000. I will say that if Nikon doesn't send me the 800mm lens, um, it's possible that I will never recover from that. So if anyone from Nikon sees this video, please send me the 800mm to test with my Xenon. 
I'm begging you, just just send me an email. Um, if I had to guess, I would say that we will get an announcement, um, and it will be available for pre-order at the end of February. Um, I'm super, super excited to see the reviews that's going to be coming out about this lens, and I think it's going to be outstanding. Now it's time to get into what is going to be my favorite part of today's video, and that is my predictions for what I believe is going to happen in 2022 with Nikon. Um, these are announcements that I think we'll get as well as products that I believe that we are going to see from Nikon in 2022. To start things off, I want to talk about a rumor that's been going on for quite some time, and that is the Nikkor 200-600mm Z lens. Now this will be a lens that will probably be in my price range, and I will absolutely be investing in it if it comes out. Um, and it's, I think it's going to be directed towards bird, wildlife, and sports photography. I'm hoping to get an announcement for this lens sometime in the summer, maybe, and I'm hoping it will start shipping by the holidays of 2022. If I had to guess on some of the specs, I would say um, that I think um, Nikon is going to release this lens at a price range of somewhere between $2,000 to $4,000, which I think would be a fair price for what I think the lens is going to um, include in terms of specs. I think the lens is going to have um, a minimum f-stop of f5.6 and is practically going to be the Z version of the fantastic 200-500mm to Nikkor lens for the f-mount cameras um, because it's one of the best lenses that Nikon has ever released for bird and wildlife photography as well as sports. And so I would love to see Nikon add the 200-600mm to into the Z arsenal um, and make it much like that lens. And basically, if they do add it, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Next up, I think that Nikon is going to announce a 600mm f4 Z lens. The 600mm f4 F mount lens is an outstanding lens and I think that it would be very smart in my opinion for Nikon to recreate that exact same lens um, with some new features that will be exclusive only for the Nikon mirrorless Z system. I'm guessing that this lens will be priced around the $20,000 range. Next up, I think that we are going to see a 26mm f1.8 prime lens. The 26mm lens is a pretty popular lens, I believe, for... Um, portrait and landscape photography. Um, I'm not very familiar with the 26mm prime lens, um, but I do think if Nikon releases this lens, it will come in at a price point of around $1,600 or maybe even a little bit cheaper than that. Um, another lens that I think Nikon is going to be releasing soon is an 85mm f1.2 lens. Um, I'm honestly not sure if this will be announced in 2022 because uh, Nikon already does have an f1.8 85mm Z lens. Um, but a lot of portrait photographers do actually prefer that f1.2 over the f1.8. I personally can't see a huge difference between f1.2 and f1.8. Um, but I do think that Nikon is potentially going to release this. Um... If they do release the lens, I personally believe that it's going to come somewhere in a price point um, between $2,500 and $2,800 to compete with Canon's version of the exact same lens they have for the um, uh, EOS R system. The, the last lens, keyword there, the last lens that I think we're going to be seeing in 2022 um, is a regular 400mm prime lens. Although Nikon just released the 400mm that we talked about earlier, um, that lens includes a built-in teleconverter and it's way more pricey than most 400mm and a lot of people just can't afford that, even photographers. With that being said, I think that we will see a 400mm Z lens that does not include a built-in teleconverter. Um, it will probably have an f-stop of somewhere around f4 or f2.8, but if I had to guess, I would guess it's going to be an f4. Um, since Nikon just released a 400mm lens, it's possible that this won't be seen in 2022, but if it is, I think that it's going to be announced later in the year around December or November. This next thing that I'm going to say may be going out on a limb for 2022, but I think it would be an exceptionally smart thing for Nikon to do. Um, I think that we will be seeing a Nikon Z8. The Z8 would basically be like a Sony a7 IV. Um, I think that Nikon needs to implement a lot of the same technology that is seen in the Z9 and trickle it down into a cheaper mirrorless system because let's just face it, the Z7 II and the Z6 II autofocus simply cannot compete with the autofocus of a Z9. Um, 
and I think a Z8 would be a really great way to trickle this te technology down into more affordable cameras for professionals and enthusiasts for Nikon. If we see this camera in 2022, I think that it will be towards the end of the summer and start shipping in time for the holidays. Or Nikon is going to make sure that they announce it in 2022 and it's going to be more announced on the late end of the year um, in November or December. I think that the camera will come in at a price point of around $3,500 if I had to guess and that's kind of competing with some other cameras from Can from Canon and Sony. So that is all that I have for today's video, um, but I want to hear your all's opinions. Um, I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think this will be Nikon's biggest year ever? Do you think we're going to see some new things from Nikon? Um, are we going to see some of the things that I'm predicting or am I totally wrong? Are we going to see things from Nikon, just not this? Let me know down below. And of course, Nikon, if you are watching this, email me, please. Thank you all, and I hope you all have an amazing day.